y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and today I am here to announce a readathon. <laughs> This is the Summer Fling Readathon. Now Sarah from Steeped in Books has been doing a romance summer bingo readathon for the past couple years, I'm pretty sure. And she has become my friend this year and I'm so grateful for her friendship. I love her oh so very much. And she was so gracious and kind enough to ask me and a bunch of other booktubers to help co-host this readathon. I actually do know this, but August is the month of romance I'm pretty sure or like the national romance month or something like that. Sarah and a bunch of other booktubers who are co-hosting also thought that it would be an amazing idea to have this readathon during the whole month of August. So this readathon takes place from August 1st to the 31st so a whole month long to read all the books you want for this readathon. So we're going to talk about the co-hosts for this read-along. I'm going to keep it simple sweet just list off their names and all of their information is going to be linked down below. We have we have Sarah, Steve, Elizabeth, Jen, Izzy, Kayla, Chloe, Brianna, Nicole, Ashley, and me. All of us are hosting this wonderful readathon mainly because of Sarah. Sarah started this and asked us to help her with all of this so please go give some love to all the other co-hosts in this read along. They're posting their announcement videos I believe today or very close to today as well. They maybe might explain some things way better than I do if you're confused by some of the things that I'm talking about today be sure to go check out Sarah's video or one of the other hosts videos they probably explain this way better than I do we have a bingo board but you don't need to get bingo to like win they're just like it's just a cool prompt board where you can see all the prompts laid out on a pretty little graphic that Sarah made it's beautiful it's gorgeous so these are all of the prompts you can get bingo if you want you can do a blackout you can do whatever you want with this board you don't have to follow the board you can do whatever you want honestly <laughs> we just wanted to give some guidelines if you don't know what to read during this national romance month first prompt is down home country this is a small town romance cowboy or western romance next we have big city life romances that take place in a large city so normally romances that are very popular or that are talked about a lot are small town romances where I feel like we need to maybe talk about big city romances more. I've lived in a big city my entire life. I've never read a romance book that takes place in my city and I think it's like the third largest city in America. And prompt number three is to read a book by an author of color. Prompt number four is hot and spicy. This is an erotic romance or a romance that is hotter than you would normally read or a romance that takes place in a hot location. You can do whatever you want with these prompts. If you like hot and spicy, you can do it just takes place on the beach or if it gets really steamy when it comes to uh, romantic times together. <laughs> uh, just do what you want with these prompts. You can do with it what you want. Next is dark and dangerous, darker taboo romance, or you can read a romance that has a dark or dangerous person on the cover. You can do whatever you want with these prompts. Again, interpret these prompts the way that you want to. Next, we have Sweet and Clean, a clean or light romance. It could have no adult content, or it could be a romance with something really sweet on the cover, like candy or something. Again, interpret it the way you want to. The next prompt is a road trip romance. Then we have Friends to Lovers, which is a very beloved trope. And then the next prompt is read a diverse romance. And next we have a romance that has disability representation in it, whether that be physical or mental. They could have anxiety or they could be in a wheelchair or they could be deaf or blind. Literally anything you want that you would consider a disability. I have a disability actually and I I actually have a whole video recommending books that have disability or illness representation in it. Illness can definitely fill it, fit the bill for this because mine is a chronic illness. I will link that video down below. If you don't know any romances that have disability or illness representation in it, I'm linking that video down below. Please check it out if you want to get some recommendations. And the next prompt is an old school historical romance, which means a cheesy cover or step back. Or it could be the oldest historical on your TBR. Again, you can interpret this prompt. The way you want. And lastly, we have a category romance, which is a Harlequin or Mills and Boone. If you're in the UK or, or Australia, it depends on where you live. This prompt is gonna be very tricky for me because I've never, ever, ever, ever read a Harlequin book and I don't know where I'm gonna get my hands on one. <laughs> so we'll see how this prompt goes for me. With this readathon, we're actually also going to be having live shows. So the first live show that we're going to be having is actually going to be on July 25th. And this is our kickoff live show where we're all going to be just talking about the books we plan to read and 
how we want this readathon to go and just chatting about romance and all that jazz. So I recommend you join us on July 25th. We will also be having two other live shows. One will be in the middle of August and one will be at the end. The middle live show will be like a little check-in just talking about how our readathon is going and then we're going to be having one at the end of the month to wrap it all up and talk about what we read. I definitely, definitely, definitely recommend following Sarah and all my other hosts to stay up to date with this readathon. I'm very, very, very excited. I can't wait to get my TBR down and figure out what I'm going to be reading. And that video will hopefully be coming very soon to talk about my TBR. Let me know down below if you plan on participating in this readathon. It's gonna be a blast, so I hope y'all join. Anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.